it has been a great kind of turn of events and I think there's a real need for blending these groups, which is what Aging 2.0 is trying to do, to get people to kind of go outside of their silos and talk across disciplines and talk across for-profit and non-profit, talk across technology and engineering and gerontology. So that's why we're all here today, hopefully meeting each other. I came today to meet other entrepreneurs and uh, experts in the field, geriatricians, gerontologists, and get some feedback because we make brain games and we have optimized them for healthy older adults. So wanted to see what's actually missing from the field, you know? So we can build anything, we just need to know what's really necessary and is it possible to drive down the price so it becomes affordable to everybody. So that's the goal and meeting these people has been fantastic. Um, to figure out the high contrast needed and that um, they like the bold colors. And the process, there is no step-by-step -step process because it's such a fragmented process. The companies kind of create the tools and say, well, senior care providers or those that, you know, classes here will help you adopt it. We want to see these be hubs of activity where people are getting together, exercising, and doing what they can to improve their health. And so it's like, okay, light bulb went off. There are other people who are also interested in this concept. Get out of your office, your home office or whatever, and go meet with these people. It's, it's honestly a night and day difference of the type of products you can create and how much you can please your users. I want people who can intimately work with us and sort of validate each of our models or a sub subset of our models so that, oh, sure. <laughs> I want to talk to you about this. I've always been a big proponent of a compassionate design and technology that people you know, need to feel as though it's part of who they are and what they need from their lives and not something that's inserted into their lives. And we're seeing a lot of improvements with user experiences and interfaces. One thing I learned today was uh, in the geriatric space, it, the, the stakes are higher, the payoffs are bigger, but the ability to fail is much greater too. So uh, as, I, as we were hearing, um, being able to really focus and listen and be empathetic is I think the most essential quality of any technology or designer. So I feel like this group is really is starting to address that. I'm actually glad I came because I learned a lot of other things as well about uh, making apps or making programs or, or technologies in general about uh, people's health. So I'm glad I came and I'm learning a lot right now. I uh, hope to learn more in the next session.